Hey guys, today I thought I'd um, share with you how I'm keeping this little one uh, contained in the house and outside uh, when I'm busy doing things. Because with a puppy, you always want to make sure there's no way for them to get into things or escape when you're busy. Because he's just like a toddler. I think he's worse than <laughs> my other dogs when they were little. I mean, he you turn your head for a second, he's into mischief. He's enjoying his bully stick right now, aren't you? Hey, Magnum. You enjoying your bully stick? Yeah? You want to see what this is? There, see? Yeah. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay. So while he's busy with his uh, bully stick here, got to get him interested in it again. Here you go. There you go. I thought I'd show you what I have set up here in the kitchen. I have the um, fencing, I think it's technically called a play yard, um, that I had for Max when Max had his uh, little episode, not little, his episode in December with his uh, leg where he couldn't move. Um, I have that set up out here in my kitchen because the kitchen is where I am most of the time. I mean, cook, make a breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know. You're out here a lot. So I have it set up right here by my dining room table. And I've got a little, uh, just a mat you put in a, a crate. And then I have his water there. And I've learned, do not fill the water dish all the way because he'll knock it over. So don't have a lot in there. And then I've got a couple bully sticks, a ball in there. So when I'm busy cleaning the house, doing dishes, doing laundry, um, stuff like that. I know he's contained and he can't get into anything and he's fine. And sometimes I'll put, I have some puppy pads right here um, by my cookbooks right there. I'll throw a puppy pad in there in case I'm downstairs getting laundry. Just in case he hasn't had an accident in the house yet and I pray he never does. Fingers crossed guys. Um, he's been doing great with going outside. So but I will put a puppy pad in there sometimes um, if I'm out of sight for a little bit in case he's got to go. And they want his bully sticks. They're trying to figure out how they can get in there and get them. <laughs> Caught them trying to move the fencing a couple times and they got in trouble. But, uh, so yeah. So that's how we're keeping them contained when we can't keep our eyes on them. So, let me take you outside now and show you uh, what I have outside for them. Okay, now we're outside, and this is easy part here. My husband and I have a rocking chair um, in front of the fire pit, because he likes to rock, but today we went out and purchased this. So we can sit out here and watch the dog play, sit by the fire, we love to have fires. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. <laughs> so this is what I have outside. It's more of that fencing. This is the... I've had this one, I think, since I just had Mozzie and Max. Um, I tried to use this one, Max. Um, I had his problem with his leg, but it was too tall. This one's a lot taller than the other one, and I couldn't reach in and get him good. And the other one has a door to it, too. This one doesn't. Um, but I have this set up out here, and I need to get some tent stakes for it to keep it in place, because I notice he tries to grab onto the fencing down here in the bottom and move it and I'm scared it might fall on them so I need to get some stakes for it but I have this set up so he can be contained out here if I'm watering flowers mowing whatever um, if we're sitting by the fire I can move it closer over in this area um, so we can keep an eye on them if we're having a fire and then now this don't look pretty guys but as I said before, we are going to Port Huron July, I think it's 7th, 7th through the 10th, and my mother-in-law is going to be watching the boys. And I was so nervous because this fencing, although it's nice, um, our yard kind of goes down on a slope that way, so there was gaps. So we went out and got, I think they're 2 by 4s and some tent stakes. And we, like I was saying, this doesn't look pretty, guys, but we put two by fours down so it goes all the way down to the ground, and then we put tent stakes 
some of them fit in tight so we didn't need it. So we put tent stakes to hold the two by fours up against the fencing. And it's just certain areas of the fence where it had that gap. And then we also did it on the other side of the yard too. Let me show you. Because I'm, my mother-in-law does a great job washing our dogs, but uh, I'll be worried my whole trip if I didn't do this. So there you go. And then there was a panel missing here, so we put I put a, a top to a little tote right there. So then we got this going on here. So there's no way he can escape the yard. And then I'm going to have to, this bug zapper, we've got a cord going through the yard for this bug zapper. I'm going to have to roll that up when we leave because uh, he likes to try to chew on an electrical cord. So I have to roll that up. Where is he? There he is. Spots back here in this fence. I want to put a couple boards too. I just need little ones. Let's see. Let's see here. See how you can see under there? I'm scared he could slip under there if no one's looking. So that's what we did in the backyard to keep this little stinker contained. <laughs> so sorry, my daughter was um, calling for me, so I had to click off. But so that's what we did for the backyard don't look pretty but I don't care I don't care what people think I'm keeping my dogs safe right that's all that matters boys right I'm loving this swing you guys I won't I won't rock because I don't make you dizzy but <laughs> I'm loving this swing to sit out here and watch the boys play it's so comfortable relaxing I just need like right here a lake <laughs> I need a house with a lake so I can watch the dogs play, watch the water. That's my dream. Anyways. <laughs> so that's how I'm keeping him contained in the house and outside so nothing happens to him. Look at he's he's a stinker. And he likes to dig too. Look at him. He likes to dig. That's why I put those boards there and kind of used a hammer to get him down tight to the ground. He loves to eat grass. I caught him trying to eat a worm. Trying to eat uh, the little helicopters that fly off the trees. And unfortunately, this tree right here, the bark sheds. So he tries to eat the bark all the time. Yeah, he's a little stinker. I don't remember my other dogs wanting to eat everything before. So I brought him out a bone to chew on. I don't know where it is. But anyways, I'll get off here now. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. It's nice out. It's only 68 degrees. The wind's blowing. And it's a pretty day out. Just sit outside on my new swing. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.